The Children's Bible, Luke 15 and 16. Jesus instructs the disciples, part two. All the publicans and sinners drew near to Jesus to hear him. And the Pharisees and scribes murmured, saying, This man receives sinners and eats with them. Then Jesus spoke this parable to them, saying, What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he loses one of them, does not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness, and go after that which is lost until he finds it? And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulder, rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say to you, that likewise there shall be more joy in heaven over one sinner that repents, than over ninety and nine just persons who need no repentance. Or what woman, if she has ten pieces of silver, and loses one, does not light a candle and sweep the house, and seek it diligently until she finds it? And when she has found it, she calls her friends and her neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I had lost. Likewise I say to you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. And Jesus said, A certain man had two sons. The younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that I will inherit. So he divided his property between them. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took a journey into a far country, and there wasted his wealth in riotous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. So he went and hired himself out to a citizen of that country, who sent him into his fields to feed pigs. He was ready to fill himself with the husks the pigs ate, for no man gave him anything. When he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father's have bread enough and to spare, while I am perishing with hunger? I will arise and go to my father, and will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am not worthy any more to be called your son. Make me one of your hired servants. He rose up and went to his father, but when he was still a long way off, his father saw him and had pity, and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your eyes, and am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Bring out the best robe and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet, and bring out the fatted calf and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to be merry. Now his elder son was in the field, and as he came and drew near the house, he heard music and dancing. He called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. He said to him, Your brother has come home, and your father has killed the fatted calf because he has him back, safe and sound. He was angry and would not go in, so his father came out and pleaded with him. He answered his father, saying, Lo, these many years I have served you, never at any time disobeying any of your commandments. And yet you never gave me a kid, so that I might make merry with my friends. But as soon as this other son of yours came, who has eaten up your wealth in riotous living, you killed the fatted calf for him. And the father said to him, Son, you are always with me, and all that I have is yours. It is fitting that we should make merry and be glad, for this your brother was dead and is alive again, was lost and is found. The Rich Man and the Beggar There was a rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen, and dined sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, who lay at his gate, covered with sores, and desiring from the rich man's table. The dogs even came and licked his sores. It came to pass that the beggar died, and was carried by the angels to Abraham's side. The rich man also died and was buried, and in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torment, and saw Abraham afar off, and Lazarus with him. He cried out and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. Send Lazarus, that he may dip the finger the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that you in your lifetime received your good things, and Lazarus bad things. But now he is comforted, and you are tormented. And besides all this, there is a great gulf set between you and us, so that those who would pass from here to you cannot, neither 
can they who would pass from your side come to us? Then the rich man said, I beg you then, father, to send him to my father's house, where I have five brothers, so that he may warn them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Abraham said to him, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to him. And he said, No, father Abraham, but if one went to them from the dead, they would repent. And Abraham said to them, If they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, they will not be persuaded, even though one rises from the dead.